Big Daddy Tournament of High Dollar Professional Bass Angling. This $600,000 Bass Angler Sportsman Society special event sports a big following and a unique structure. First, the entire field fishes the Harris Chain of Lakes near Leesburg, Florida for three days. Then the top 50 contestants compete a fourth day, the final elimination period. The only goal this fourth day is to make the final 10 in order to compete for the Megabucks on the special 10-hole course on Little Lake Harris. But the talk this morning is that Florida's Roland Martin can stay in bed. With a 12-pound lead over his nearest competitor, Arkansas's Larry Nixon, veteran pro Martin could probably just hang around the boat dock and watch television. But he went fishing anyway. And as he has for the past three days, catches bass. Oh, my God. Although it's not unthinkable to come from the back of the pack to make the final 10, it usually doesn't work out that way. Unless the angler gets on big bass, like this lunker that Ohio angler Larry Williams is fighting. Larry was in 21st place this morning. He needs big weight. And Roland Martin feels confident he'll be the number one seed. But I knew that I was 12 pounds ahead of Larry, and I knew that he only had a small limit, so uh, I, I figured I still had to leave. You don't think there's a chance in the world you could get knocked out right now? Absolutely. I don't think anybody can pass me for a number one. Well, they will. No, well, you don't really think so? No. You think Larry could? No. Have you seen Larry Stringer? Yeah. Okay, well, that's the reason you feel so cocky. All right, weigh his fish. Weight for Roland Martin, three pounds, three ounces. He's coasting. Now it's Larry Nixon's turn at the scales. He's no newcomer to Megabucks. Larry Nixon, limited bass, and folks, watch this number two man. All-time money went on the trail, 13 pounds, three ounces. Let's give him a nice hand. Now, I want you to note, folks, there's nothing. And all these fish are two and a half, two, two and a half pounds. Larry, uh, I know that you knew the water you fished today would be behind you historically, and you'd be moving into new water tomorrow, so you went for broke. You really didn't have to catch that many fish. Well, I know it, but you, you always get worried. I get five, and I thought, boy, I'm in. And then I said, no, might not be. I better catch me another one. I'd catch another one, and I'd say, well, I know I'm in now, you know, but you just don't know till you say it today. And what about Larry Williams? Hey, Larry. Did his big bass bite pay off? In 21st place, brings in a limited bass, Larry Williams. Larry Williams, and folks, he is loaded. Let me look at that paper. 21st place, he got a chance to pull out there and get in the top 10. The only man I've seen has got a chance. Watch the scale, folks. 19 pounds and two ounces, mark it, bingo. And here's the final 10 lineup. Florida's Roland Martin at the head of the pack coming out of the elimination round. All-time money winner Larry Nixon ready to make a run at his second Megabucks championship. Arkansas pro Mark Davis, who seems to have figured out these Florida bass. Minnesota pro Mike Hartman fishing his first Megabucks championship round. Ex-fisheries biologist Ken Cook from Oklahoma, who fished this final round in 1987, placing sixth. Young Bassmaster Pro Randy Blockett of Missouri, with one BASS victory already under his belt this season. Larry Williams, whose last-minute charge with two lunkers brought him from 21st to 7th place today. Veteran Pro Manuel Spencer of Florida, a third-place finisher in the 1987 Megabucks. Local angler John Leach, who knows Little Lake Harris inside and out, and fished in the 1986 Megabucks finals. And Tennessee pro Jack Wade, who many think might just be the dark horse in this competition. It starts tomorrow for the Big Bucks. And here's what's on Big Mark Davis's mind. Well, I got to ask you this question. You're going to get over there tomorrow. You're going to have about two or three rods laid in the boat, and you're going to ease in there. You're going to have a, you have somebody riding as a spectator. You realize that? I hope he brings lots of stuff to eat. <laughs> what they, the? They're going to pack us a good lunch like they do at the Classic. I look forward to them Classics. You get all them good sandwiches and cookies, bananas and all that. I kind of like it. The Bassmasters will be right back from Leesburg, Florida for the final two rounds of Megabucks 5. Stay tuned. And get ready for the first of two days competition. Everybody starts even today from zero. It's a whole new tournament. And what does 1988 winner Larry Nixon think about the coming day? Well, it's nice to be in my second uh, Megabucks in the final 10 over in Little Lake Harris. And 
being there once before, you know, I feel like I've got a, another pretty good chance of winning the tournament, really. It, uh, I've just got to keep an open mind on this tournament because it is going to be, uh, you know, I'm going back to the same place, and a lot of times when you do that, you have a tendency to want to do exactly the same things you did to win last time, and a lot of times that don't work. So I've got to keep an open mind today and be sure that I don't uh, get to trying to duplicate the same things I did two years ago because the fish aren't in that same mood this year. They're in some of the same places, but the, the bite's not as good as it was two years ago, so I gotta be real careful today that I don't uh, overfish my water. Little Lake Harris is approximately 3,000 surface acres. For the Megabucks competition, it's divided into 10 holes. The anglers fish each hole 50 minutes, then rotate clockwise to the next hole. Their starting position each day is determined by a draw. While the methods and patterns for catching these bass change every year, anglers who fished this competition before carry an advantage from the standpoint of knowing the physical layout of each hole, which ones have grass or lily pads, which canals produce best, and where the bass have been in those areas in past competitions. But things do change. Larry Nixon told Mark Davis he'd never caught a bass in hole eight, where Mark started. But in the first 20 minutes there this morning, Mark caught his seven bass limit. And here's what he's doing. Well, I started out this morning. Uh, I'd never seen Little Lake Harris and didn't know really what to do. And uh, I started out throwing a, a bomber rattler, which is a vibrating lure, just along the semi grass. I picked up a couple fish like that, and one of my better fish. And I noticed some shad in close to the grass it was had some fish swirling and working in them i eased over there and i caught i think five on a spinner bait a white three eighths ounce spinner bait with a with a nickel number five with a leaf blade and uh i think since then i've caught one nice fish flipping and one on this worm in these pads the odds on favorite larry nixon is catching bass like most people here expect and the top seed, Roland Martin, is also putting bass in the boat. This seasoned competitor has fished 153 Bassmaster tournaments and placed in the money 119 times. That's 77% of the time. He's tough. A standing room only crowd at Leesburg's baseball park. Way in time. And the lead seesaws back and forth until now. I understand, is it true? I heard a rumor you were caught a lemon on the first hole, number eight. Yeah, I did. <laughs> did you eat something during the course of that, or was that all fishing? Well, no, I didn't get to do much eating today. No fish was biting, I just kept jerking at them. I finally, I finally got in the canal and we out a little ways. My partner said, now, if you don't eat one of these sandwiches, Ray's going to really be mad at you. So I eat one just to keep everybody happy. All right, well, you got me happy. All right, we're going to weigh your fish now. New leader, 14 pounds, 8 ounces. The final round of Megabucks 5, and this competition is close. Mark Davis leads, but Jack Wade is only a pound five ounces behind. And Larry Nixon's still a threat, only a pound 15 ounces out. And those ounces count. In fact, just one ounce can make nearly a $30,000 difference between the $106,000 first place and the runner-up's paycheck. And what does the leader visualize this last morning? Well, uh... I caught a limit early, and I don't think it's any secret. And after that, I caught, you know, four or five other fish the rest of the day trying to catch a bigger fish. And, you know, I think the weather's going to change, and it's just have to play everything in my ear and just see what happens. Uh, I'm on a different hole, and probably everyone is, and it's going to just uh, have to take it one step at a time. And what about former champion Larry Nixon? Well, I had a real good day yesterday. Uh... You know, I got into the fish a couple of places, and uh, I didn't lose any bass yesterday. In fact, I only missed one strike all day long, and I wound up throwing back and catching that same fish. So I fished real good yesterday, and hopefully today I can just catch the one fish I need to overtake old Mark. And uh, he's doing—he's a good fisherman. He's going to be hard for me to catch, and not only that, but I'm right behind him all day long, so I have to follow him around. There's no doubt today is going to be a shootout. The Bassmasters will be right back from Leesburg, Florida for the final day of Megabucks 5. The forecast is for light winds after yesterday's 30 mile per hour gale. And there's no miracle start for Mark Davis. First reports indicate the leader is having problems. 
but Larry Nixon is catching bass. And this is one bass master you don't want to play catch up with. He's demonstrated he can manage the pressure when big money's on the line. Larry Nixon's never out of it till the last cast. But neither is Roland Martin. Even though back in eighth place this morning and seven pounds, three ounces behind the leader, Roland knows how to win tournaments. He's had 16 BASS career wins and won the Angler of the Year race nine times. He's put together a strong spinnerbait pattern. And Larry Nixon continues catching his bass today on a spinnerbait. Here's what he's doing. I flipped most of the day yesterday when I wasn't, when I was down on this end of the lake and I just figured last night I was probably flipping past the fish, you know, and they'd halfway down to the bottom and not on the bottom, so figured I'd just reel something real slow and try to maintain halfway down. There's mega excitement building here. Roland Martin is catching fish and catching up. Nixon switches tactics. He's flipping a plastic worm in the deeper pads, but continues to find bass. And this one's a keeper, if he can land it. Oh, gee! Look at that. And Roland scores again. This tournament is fast becoming a two-man battle for the Megabucks crown. There's a crowd gathering on hole number four. Larry Nixon has discovered a big bass pattern. Another big one. Oh, shoot. Surely not. Fishing is a game of adjustments. Patterns change, as Roland Martin explains. But what I did today was I moved out on those shallow eelgrass patches, and I worked the outside edges of the eelgrass patches off an island, and I caught a good limit there, off of a couple other little eelgrass patches, and I caught all my better fish. Two and a half to three and a half pound fish were caught on the edges of the eelgrass, which, which I didn't realize that was the pattern. I didn't do that till today. I'd just been spinnerbait fishing in shallower. I did catch a few fish, spinnerbait fishing in shallower today also, but my, my best concentrations of fish were on the outside of the eelgrass. You know, anytime you're fishing an area like these lily pads here, you have to kind of look at the pads like you would a body of water and, and read the outside edges and all the, the patterns inside. And uh, fish relate to all different types of water different at different times of the day. Like early in the morning, sometimes they'll be on the inside edge. and. Luckily, I got this hole here late in the afternoon today, and the fish are right up in the heaviest clump of stalks that I can find, where the stalks are really wadded up. All you gotta do is drop your worm straight down through it, sit there and yo-yo it up and down. I can't worry about Larry. If I worry about Larry, I'm done for. I gotta worry about that eight-pound bass. I can't worry about Larry. I hope his boat breaks down. I hope it falls in the lake. Larry Nixon is culling his small bass. We'll know soon whether his big bass are big enough. Over 5,000 fans, largest crowd in Megabucks history, are on hand as Roland Martin comes to the weigh-in stand. I cannot tell you how proud I am of you, Roland Martin. <laughs> 
Man, that is championship, son. Man, that is doing it. All right. Roland, let me give you all his pedigree. Let's get his weight first. This is very critical. Now, he's got to have how much? 14.5 to take the lead. 's got he's in trouble son all right that's what that's what you want I tell you putting the heat on it Larry had a few bass but I don't think he's gonna do do any better he's right? back out he hasn't weighed in yet we'll know in a few minutes you have over 14 pounds you've taken the lead from eighth place well you know I I, uh, I needed some bigger fish today and I didn't realize that I could just keep culling like I did and uh, and I and I don't think Larry's got any real big ones like this and now, Larry Nixon, the all-time money winner, with over $585,000 on the PASS tournament trip. And the angler who many of his fellow competitors say is the best in the business. Is he the best today? He's going to take some bigger fish, and let's hope he's got him. Now, Roland Martin is, uh, he went out like a, in, a, in a blaze of glory and did, couldn't quite stay with you on those two big boys. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I just had an incredible day, Ray. You know, I figured out what to do early and caught me six little fish, and uh, then I caught my limit, and after that, you know, then you can go for the biggies. All right, we'll weigh him now. Remember, he's already won. Let's just see how much, folks. Incredible, seven bass. And the weight, 19 pounds, four ounces in market. Our champion. Larry Nixon, the 1990 Megabucks champion, and this event's only two-time winner. And to what does Larry attribute this victory? I would say it was six years guiding 300 days a year on Toledo Bend Reservoir in Texas, allowing me to learn everything that a man needs to learn about a bass, how he reacts, how he changes each day to, to weather conditions, how he relates to different cover, and how he attacks different lures, and no two time periods are ever the same. And in this 10 hole core style fishing, you know, once you get something clicking like that, boy, you can just, you can really work on the bass. And then when you can go back the next day and fishing is different, uh, usually I can figure it out. I can, I, you know, I can figure out what I did wrong, why I didn't catch fish in a certain spot, and I'll go to that hole and catch me a few fish. Right now, it's time for the Pro's Pointer, the how-to section of the Bassmasters. Brought to you by Wrangler, the most comfortable jeans known to man. The vertical jig of fish, uh, it's something that we do in Texas a lot in the fall of the year when fish get real dormant and they're not really biting. And you, you get your bait over something when it's in shallow water because you can't, you can't do it right beside the boat in five or six foot of water because you scare the fish. But you cast your bait and drop it over a strand of grass and let it down on the on a real slack line and get it there on the bottom and then you just lift it up about a foot and let it fall back. Lift it up, let it fall back. Do that four, five, six, seven times. I mean, it was slow. And then directly just go, boom, 